Well, my name is Olga Gonzalez. I was born in Puerto Rico, and I am the missionary and church and community worker for the Syracuse Woodside Urban Mission. The west side of Syracuse is a very challenging place to live right now. Even before this current economic downturn, it had become a very um, impoverished neighborhood. People are looking for work, they're looking for help, they're looking for um, a safe space, and that's what we offer. We are a safe space where people can experience God's grace. SLIM supports the community in a number of ways. Uh, there are programs throughout the week. There are life skills for adults and life skills for teens. There's a bilingual Bible study on Tuesday afternoons. Tutoring program, um, legal clinic, food pantry, uh, summer camp programs. They send a lot of kids from the city to camp who otherwise probably wouldn't be able to go. A high school down the street from us earlier this year had a 33% graduation rate, so we know the stakes are high and we want to make sure these kids finish and finish well so they have options. I have always been a big believer in opening doors. You know, you just never know what is it that gets stuck in their mind, you know, when, when you open new door and new perspective. Just to figure out how to motivate them, that, that is just the best reward. That empowers them. They know they can get things done. We have to bring the community to the church and the church to the community. They, they make structures that help one another. And we've seen that over the last few years really grow. So that although their conditions may be um, some, in some cases destitute, they often help each other. When I think back on my life, I see the impact that education has had and how it's changed um, the opportunities I've had and the ideas I've had. And that's why I tutor, because that's the message I want to give these kids. I learn something every day from these kids. and We are very gratified coming to the end of the school year right now that um, many of our youth are on the honor roll. Um, when folk realize that the situation is not hopeless, it's very serious, but it's not hopeless and that there are things that we can do to help each other to um, try to make poverty a thing of the past. So that's, that's really what we all, we are audacious enough to hope for and to believe in. <laughs>